Hey team, it's warming up down here in southeast Queensland, so it can only mean one thing. Jump on board, I'm going to run you through the gear you need to chase mangrove jacks. Might get one, might not, but hey, I'll equip you for what's coming up in this season, the gear you need to use, and how to attack them and what to look for. Let's do it. Trees in the water, sharp drop offs, undercuts, and mangroves. It's got to be persistent. Yes. Come on, buddy. And that is what I mean by being persistent. This is a beautiful chat. Absolutely beautiful. I'll just put us on spot lock and we'll get him out. I sound a bit weird, but I haven't caught a jack for a long time, so I think the adrenaline will start to pump. You know, look at that. That is what I come up for. I'm pumped. Thanks, Jeff, for the good vibes. Sent me good mate Jeff up north a message saying I was coming out today and I wasn't catching cod. Okay, so I'm going to get this fish back in the water now. I've just kept him in the net. Got a couple of nice pics of him. He's a gorgeous fish. Look at that. So he's more than ready to go, so say goodbye to him. Stoked. Absolutely stoked. Righto, fish is back in the water. Still a little bit shaky. It's been so long since I've targeted these fish and it's really good to get tied on one. So like I was saying before, couldn't quite get it out, but the setup that I'm using, the two setups I'll run through just quickly. And I've had these for years. It's the Akuma Seros rods and that's a five to 12 kilo spin, seven foot. And this little workhorse here, which is the Helios 4000. 20 pound biotic braid and then Platypus's hard armor 20 pound leader. May go a little bit higher in leader as the season goes on, but um, I thought today, because it's the first session back, I'd rather get a bite and lose a fish than um, fish with real heavy leaders. Um, not too, too, too sure if they're shy on them, but you know, if it looks natural, I guess they're going to take it. And that one was taken on five inch diesel minnow in calico candy and then that's just your snake blocks there three eighths uh, for five oh there so has a little keeper on there keeps the plastic on and very look you don't have to look after them too much sometimes they get pulled down you just pull it back up pull the plastic back up if you want to pin it you can push it forward then back and that'll just sink the hook a little bit in the um, plastic there so yeah, well that's just what's worked now. I'm gonna push along, but yeah, that's the first setup. And then I haven't really thrown this much today. And this is my bait cast setup. It's a bit of a winch. Uh, it's Komodo SS, but I run that thing locked up 30 pound, generally with say 40, 50 pound liter. And that's matched on a Komodo, a Kuma Komodo bait cast rod. So that's eight to fifteen kilos, six foot six. It's a bit of a brutal setup. Uh, I'll probably tend a little bit more towards Barra, but you know, if you're going to buy one setup that's going to last you, you may as well get one that covers a few species. Alright, cool. So what we might do, I'll just keep plodding along, may not get another one, but I'll show you what I'm targeting. So if you're going to come out, at least you can see what, what you're casting at. But um, biggest thing, like I said just before I hooked that fish, is be persistent, because I've been out three hours already i've had one hit earlier and yeah just keep going i've had plenty of donuts in this trigger
So I just want to give you a bit of a look into uh, what, I'm, what I'm casting at. So that fish before just come up. It's not really much there at all except for a bit of a twig and um, a few branches coming off it. But this whole bank here is just loaded with structures. So when you're out chasing them, just stick to it. Hit banks like this, have a sand around, seen some you know, sunken structure and that, and you will come tight on one. But um, I think it's a little bit more in southeast Queensland, it's just spending the time and making the effort to get up there and get into them. So, yeah, I'm going to keep plodding along here. Might get another one, might not, but it's already been a cracker day. <laughs> 